my name is Emily Sherio, and I'm excited to tell you about data as a product. Like I said, my name is Emily Sherio. I'm an internal strategy consultant at GitLab on the chief of staff team. I started at GitLab almost two years ago as our first data analyst, moved into a data engineering role, and today I work on the chief of staff team in a strategy role. My name is Taylor Murphy, and I'm a staff data engineer at GitLab. I joined GitLab just over two years ago as a data engineer. I managed the data team for one year and uh, was the manager who hired Emily. And now I'm back as an individual contributor uh, on the data team as a staff data engineer. One of the ideas that we've been thinking about a lot is this uh, idea of, of zombie apocalypse proof, whether or not your, your data team's output is uh, zombie apocalypse proof. And what that means is if everybody on your team or in the company were turned into zombies overnight, how long could they maintain their output for? So Google, we would think, could probably do this for quite a while, maybe a month or a week or a month, but how long do you think your company could survive for? Um, a week, a couple days? Um, what about your data team's reports? Uh, and I, a way to think about this is how many days has it been since the last uh, failure that you've seen, whether from uh, extraction loading point of view or from some sort of SQL error on your report? Um, how many days has it been since a failure that didn't work itself out in the next day and actually you had to, to do something with? And we think this is a, a, an interesting idea because it, it gets at a lot of the underlying problems um, that data teams see from data integrity, data quality, data reliability. Um, organizations we see don't really trust the data team's numbers because of, of these um, top concerns, integrity, quality, um, and reliability. Uh, we find that a lot of data teams are spending all their, all their time putting out fires um, and we're fixing numbers. Um, and because there's, uh, everything has like a great sense of urgency, people just don't trust that the data team's numbers are, are robust so they don't use their thing, the, their numbers, they wind up making their own reports and you, you don't have a single source of truth for, for what is, is a correct number. Um, and because of this, data teams never really get to, to produce real value for the organization. So we're presenting this idea of data as a product and treating how you build the things that your data team builds just like you build your application. Bringing in UX and product management and understanding not uh, what dashboard or what report or what chart someone is asking for, but really what is the problem that they're looking to solve. Instead of giving your team members faster horses, we're suggesting you give them cars. Today, most organizations think of their data team as a service or a supporting function. And what we're proposing in this mindset shift is to approach this in a new way where uh, thinking about it uh, as if you're building an actual product and in turn, make your org more zombie proof. So we care about this problem a lot because we've been there. Both Taylor and I have pulled off incredible feats of heroic, uh, trying to keep things up and running. And we have deeply felt this pain. We've come to realize that thinking about uh, changing our own mindset has led to an efficiency in the way we work and the way we solve this problem. We've worked on underperforming and undervalued teams. And we're really looking to, to elevate all of the data folks who are working in our sphere. And this is important not just to us as individuals, but to the greater community. Uh, the way we think about solving the problems that data teams are facing today is really going to have a lot of impact for a long time. And if we can change mindsets as people move through their career, we make sure that these sorts of messages permeate across the orgs. The other thing to note here is that we haven't really heard this idea thrown around that often before, and we think that Coalesce is the perfect place to get feedback on it. Why us? I mentioned our experience uh, at GitLab, but we also have over a dozen companies that we've worked with helping build out a data function to date. We've watched GitLab 4x in size, uh, and we're active communities, active community members in the data space, especially in DBT, in the DBT community. We think this is the perfect place to talk about uh, this new idea and get some really great feedback. So thanks so much for considering our conversation, our presentation. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.